Good morning Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest weather analysis for this weekend of Saturday through Monday, January 28 to 30, 2023 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and uh, let's begin with our update, here is the uh, latest graph set for today um, which we issued yesterday, South Friday and this is valid for today, Saturday we have a new shear line and it's now bringing some heavy downpour across most parts of the Bicol region and uh, please take all necessary precautions against flash floods and landslides uh, since this uh, since this shear line is generating uh, a series of uh, uh, heavy to intense rainfall just last night and up to around 11 p.m. we are experiencing um, heavy to intense rainfall for more than 10 minutes and then it will uh, stop for a bit and then here we go again right now it's quiet outside light rains uh, here in Naga City so this shore line will be here until uh, probably on Monday or Tuesday but on Sunday there will be some uh, decrease of rainfall activity but uh, it will again resume come Monday because of an approaching surface trough so this surface trough will again generate more shear line across our area here in the Bicol region so please take all of precaution and prepare for possible uh, hazards of uh, landslides and flooding particularly in low-lying areas again um, the rainfall right now is brought to you by this shear line and it always comes and go every two weeks okay the last major shear line that affected the Bigel region way back in December 18 and 19 and it generated more flooding in various sections of the Bigel region Right now, rainfall, uh, uh, 24 hour rainfall is almost 100 millimeters in Naga City, around 90. Uh, in, uh, but, but 15, but 10 kilometers away from Naga, in the vicinity of Kalabanga, Kamarini Sur, the uh, 24 hour rainfall observed is now at 200, uh, or almost 200 millimeters, around 190. So it's much heavier over that uh, town, okay, that municipality north of Naga. So uh, it's uh, actually Bicol wide in some areas. It's around 70 millimeters, okay, and uh, in some here in Surzagon, it's around 50 millimeters and so on, okay. And the shear line is also affecting uh, the uh, eastern sections of the Visayas, while here over the uh, over to the west of uh, Visayas we have a trough, and uh, it's also affecting uh, Palawan with heavy rainfall, and this is due to uh, the extension of the trough of LPA 98W, which is moving slowly to the south of. Uh, of Vietnam okay moving into the Gulf of Thailand so it is uh, so meanwhile over the meanwhile up north we have another new surge of the northeast monsoon and it's uh, bringing some windy conditions with uh, drizzles to light rainfall and mostly cloudy skies across the zone and uh, also of including uh, Batanes and Baboying Kubab Islands, Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon. So these areas will be experiencing some rough seas or busy conditions of up to 60 or 70 kph. And it's also affecting the Bicol region. So it's a combined effects of the shear line, the northeast monsoon that is expected to, that are expected and these uh, weather systems will bring uh, stormy-like conditions across the Bicol region this weekend. But again, later in the day, until Sunday, 
uh, rainfall will begin to decrease but and then on Monday another round of uh, uh, heavy to intense rainfall will be expected okay so please take all necessary precautions and temperature readings across the Bicol region is around 22 to 24 degrees so it's why it's quite uh, more like uh, temperatures as of this time in uh, meanwhile in northern portions of Luzon we expect temperature to uh, dip in down to 21 or 20 degrees and likely over, over Matanes it's around 18 or 19 okay so don't forget to bring your to wear your uh, sweaters because of these uh, cooler temperatures okay and then uh, so far that's the latest from the graph set here's the fast animation so you can clearly see here the uh, you can see here uh, some couple you can see here a couple of uh, thunderstorms approaching the uh, Bicol region because of the shear line. So the shear line is over here. And then we have another over here, a surface trough moving across Palau. And this is expected to bring more rainfall over eastern Mindanao and uh, eastern Visayas come Monday and Tuesday. Okay, so here's the uh, zoom in solar animation. So this is the infrared one. Uh, as you can see, the Bicol region is still affected by the uh, shear line, and uh, there are some clusters of thunderstorms occurring in various sections of the region. And. Uh, if we take a look now on the uh, wind and pressure forecast for the next uh, five days uh, at as of this time we have now the uh, uh, surge of the northeast monsoon moving into the vehicle region together with the shear line so expect more rainfall and windy conditions and uh, by this afternoon the northeast monsoon will be uh, affecting the various uh, portions of the vehicle region so winds of up to 60 kph will be expected and on sunday we are uh, expected the decrease we are expecting the decrease of the northeast monsoon, but uh, the uh, and also through Monday, but still the uh, northeast monsoon will remain across the Bicol region, and on Tuesday, December thirty first, it will slowly dissipate, and the wind will slowly shift from the northeast to east northeast, and on Wednesday, February first. It will be back at uh, normal levels with winds from the east or the easterly wind flow over the Bicol region. So most likely by Wednesday, February 1st onwards, uh, good weather will be uh, expected in uh, the Bicol region and some portions of the Visayas. And uh, before we leave you, here's the uh, rain forecast day to day until uh, February 1. So, uh, right now, midnight of Saturday, the Bicol region will continue to experience uh, on and off to continuous uh, light to moderate to at times heavy, intense rainfall. Okay, and uh, it will be more frequent along the eastern sections like uh, Catanduanes and Partito District. So, you can clearly see here the shear line. Okay, that's the shear line. And here is the forecast of another uh, possible shallow LP approaching eastern uh, Visayas and uh, eastern Mindanao in the next five days. Now Saturday afternoon, still the shear line will affect the Bicol region. 
tomorrow Sunday it will uh, start to weekend and more rainfall will be expected across the Cauborias and eastern sections of Masbate by Saturday uh, by Sunday afternoon we expect that the shear line will now switch will now uh, shift southward across uh, eastern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao across eastern Visayas while over the northeastern Mindanao we will be having some rains as well due to the approach of the service trough which could become a shallow LPA upon crossing Mindanao this weekend so let's move now on Monday morning there you go these are increasing cloudiness generated by the trough of uh, the potential uh, shallow LPA which is expected to traverse Mindanao on Sunday and Monday the uh, the edge of the trough will bring much much rainfall across uh, the Bigel region with a possibility of another shear line here and Monday afternoon there you go uh, still some uh, heavy rainfall will be expected now Tuesday last day of uh, the month of January we are expecting another shear line here over the Bicol region. Here's the connectivity of that uh, uh, forecast uh, rain. And on Tuesday afternoon, it will move towards uh, Quezon province. Wednesday, it will return to normal conditions. So we expect good weather beginning from very first. Okay, so watch out for that. So there you go, uh, please take all necessary precautions, especially those living along the river banks and the low-lying areas of Bicol region, particularly Naga, Kamarini Sur, because of uh, more rainfall in store generated by the shear line. And uh, let's hope that rainfall will not be uh, much uh, heavier so that uh, we will be spurred by the effects of this shear line. Okay, so this is Mike Padua saying happy weekend to all. See you again next week. And uh, uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.